All right. So um, one of the things you're going to have to do, I don't know, fairly often in Prot, if you're if you're doing a lot of work with words, is you make a recording and you want to just tidy it up a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to look at, at trimming and normalizing. Okay, so let's look in Pratt. I've actually recorded uh, a little sample here already for illustration. So listen to this. Sample word. Okay, so you notice there's a lot of silence beforehand, a lot of silence afterwards. Uh, and the other thing, if you look at the uh, amplitude limits, it goes up to 0.34 and down to minus 0.25. Now this isn't bad, but uh, sometimes you'll get you'll start off a lot worse. It'll be in the 0, 0.0 something. This is very quiet. Uh, if you have the chance to re-record, it might be worthwhile. Get the the voice closer to the mic so that it'll pick up more of the voice relative to the background noise. If that's not an option, you can do some normalizing. Uh, what I like to do is trim first and then normalize because sometimes there's things. This we just have some quiet stuff in in what we're going to be trimming, but sometimes it can get quite obtrusive, like really loud stuff in the what you trim. And if it's louder than than the signal that you're interested in, then if you normalize first, you're not actually normalizing what you're interested. You're normalizing the stuff you're going to end up throwing away. So we'll throw away stuff first. Uh, now just eyeballing it, I think all of this can go away. I like to, as I uh, select, I like to do control, comma, and zero. It's almost a reflex now, just to make sure I'm I'm selecting at zero crossings. It makes a bit of tidier cut. And I'm going to do, I can do control X. Uh, that's just the, the cut command here. Um, so I'll do it with the menu there, here. Uh, Control comma zero just to get zero crossings, and I'm going to do control X to delete it. Now this is already pretty tidy. Depending on your application, this might be all you need to do. Uh, keep a little bit of silence before and after. Here I have a a couple hundred milliseconds, a bit more at the front. Um, for some applications, uh, particularly on the speech technology side or or certain automated things, you may want to snug right up to the beginning of the sound and the end of the sound. Um, I, I definitely do this in my speech technology side of things uh, just to really zero in. So anything automated is only going to be acting on speech. So if that's part of what you want to do with, with what you're done, then you can do that. If not, uh, you can, uh, yeah, you can leave those extra bits in. So that's that's trimming. And then normalizing, actually, I tend to do it in the object window. I have my sound selected. In the modify menu, one of the options is scale peak. Now I'm calling it normalize. That's the command you get in Audacity, for example, exactly the same thing. Scale peak, new absolute peak, 0 0.99. So if I hit OK, it changes my object in place. Remember, it went up to about 0.3 something. If I now view and edit it, now it goes up to 0.99, and the bottom has been scaled as well. Not to 0.99, because the top was higher than the, was farther away from zero than the bottom was. So they're multiplied all points, basically all amplitudes along the wave are multiplied by the same amount. Uh, and it's an amount that makes the absolute maximum, which looks like it's somewhere around here. Uh, have a value of 0.99 or whatever you're scaling it to. Okay, and now sample, sample word. word. It's a bit louder, uh, and and that's uh, that can often be easier to work with. Uh, you don't have to crank your your speakers up or your headphones up to hear things. You can just make the sound louder in that way. All right, so that's just a couple of quick things to do. Trimming the sides by looking at the sound, selecting what you don't want, moving that selection to zero crossings just to, to be a little bit tidier, and then removing it, cutting that uh, through the edit menu or with that control X command, and then using the modify scale peak command to get everything up to a nice, uh, nice level. Okay, that's all for this video.